All right, here we go. Dalton Connect, 6'6", 215, guard slash small forward out of the University of Tennessee, the Vols. He is explosive. He's a really dynamic player, man. I mean, on the move, on the fast break, offensive rebounding, movement shooting, spot up shooting, shooting off the bounce. He can handle the ball in pick and roll situations, makes good decisions, needs to get a little bit quicker with the feet on defense, needs to be a little more competitive on the perimeter, less handsy. But man, am I excited about this one to show you guys. Uh, he is explosive and what a talent. The senior coming right at you. Let's get into it. Here we go, Dalton Connect, the six foot six, 215 pound senior. He's a super senior, man. This guy is electric on the offensive end and he's got wingspan for days. What I was really surprised about when diving into this tape is how well he handles in the pick and roll situations. In these PNRs, he gets downhill, gets to that left hand. He can use his offhand, he's right-handed. That was a miss, but that was a strong take right off the bat against Florida. I want you to watch the understanding of the offense by Dalton Connect here. He's gonna get into a little two-man game coming off the screen. And in regards to a team like the Miami Heat or the, you know, the, the Golden State Warriors where they run these flex actions off of pin downs and side screens, look at that little dribble handoff right there. Miami Heat and the Warriors do this all the time off the dribble handoff. He's going to take the space, accept the double team, and he's going to have the vision to hit the roll man. This is something that can translate at the next level. Another thing I like on both ends of the floor for Dalton, he tends to work back towards the basketball. Even when he's rebound, rebounding defensively, he's got really broad shoulders, super long wingspan, and he just finds the basketball. And you can tell he's a senior. Let's take a look at his athleticism here. This is a beautiful putback tip dunk. I want to show a little bit about his position flexibility on defense. I don't particularly like the communication here on this switch. Uh, the recognition is a little slow. Um, in switching right here, this is Dalton Connect. But I want you to notice how when he does switch on to the bigger player, 21, how he's very competitive in the post, those really broad shoulders, and he's really strong down there uh, and athletic. He makes himself really big. If you can see he's front in the post right now, I like that. He fronts the post the whole, the whole way, stays connected to his man. Just watch Dalton right there, and he then is in position for the help defense. I just want you to watch again when we talk about position flexibility defensively. He's guarding the big man in the post. Dalton Connect is guarding the big man in the post. And this whole possession as he's fighting that guy on the inbound, he then switches off to the smaller guard. You see how he got his hand out of there not to pick up a cheap foul? Because that's one thing in the NBA that'll get you off the court is if you pick up cheap fouls. And then he just does a nice contest, uses that wingspan. It wasn't spectacular, but it was just a very nice use of his wingspan. Here's Dalton on the left wing. He handles the ball a lot for Tennessee, so he does have a pretty decent usage rate from what I'm seeing. And that's more than what I expected, because I expected him to be just a pure shooter. And this is a great example of him being a senior and his patience, where he accepts the double. A young player right here may pick their dribble up, but he keeps the dribble alive, creates some space, and he's tall enough at 6'6 to keep looking over the defense and find an open man. Now this ended up being a charge, but it was the right read. So here I wanna point out, Dalton Connect's handles need to get tightened up a bit, and he's not super shifty. He needs to get his foot speed to be quicker at the next level in the NBA. As you can see, he gets into some trouble there, gets fouled, but on the reset on this PNR, he's shifty enough to get where he wants to go, and then he makes the right read. So you, that's one thing that you want to work on and you want to drill in practice, that once you get to the foul line, if this defender is cr 
creeps off his man, this is the open pass you need to make. Or if this guy stays hugged up and this guy cheats, then your pass is to the corner. Here's what I mean again by Dalton just isn't shifty and he's really gonna have to work on his handle and foot speed if he wants to excel at the next level and be more than just a three and wingspan guy. Uh, you got him out on the perimeter. He's just not quick enough off the bounce. Creates a little bit of contact, but really that was good defense. I mean, he's just gotta get quicker, get a little bit more shifty, tighten up his handles. He's got some things to work on going into the combine. Here we go, we got Dalton Connect on the block this time. Not handling the ball, looking for the post up. He's going where the matchup dictates, I like it. He's got some juice, man. On the baseline, slips back door, on two, dunked on two. All right, let's see Dalton get out and move his feet on the perimeter. Again, nothing spectacular. We're just looking for solid competitive defense. I like how he gets up to him. I don't like how he put two hands on him out there, but he does get up into him. He slides over top of the screen, gets back into the play. Could be a little bit quicker with it, but the fundamentals are there. Here's Dalton again. He's going to get into the pick and roll and have to guard someone on the perimeter. And whenever I was showing you that I didn't like that he was getting his hands in on people, you're going to see why. So when he gets matched up on this guy on the perimeter, the point guard here, he sizes him up. He goes to just reach. You see how he reaches first? Because he's reaching first, his feet stop. Now he's beat. You can't reach, just slide your feet. He's athletic enough to be able to do it. On this play, we're gonna get Dalton coming off the screen to the top of the key. He curls into the lane, takes it down. And this is what I really love about his game. He's right-handed, but he loves to go left, man. He can finish going left, he took the contact. That's an NBA style finish right there. Here's the maturity of being a senior that's gonna translate in the NBA. He sees that he has a mismatch on the point guard down here, takes him into the mid post, keeps that follow through nice and high, fading away, using all 6'6", as well as that seven foot wingspan. That was a beautiful jumper, beautiful jumper. Let's watch that through again takes him down right into the post. Look at how high that follow through is. Beautiful. Little guy isn't blocking that. Here I want you to notice how Dalton relocates to the corner to get into the vision of the guy driving the ball. And just watch how fluid this jumper is and then we'll back it up and break down the beef. Point guard's too little to affect that. All right, here we go. We talk about beef. It's in the corner. It's going to be difficult to see. But is he on balance? The answer is yes. His elbow in. The answer is enough. Is his follow through high? It's very high. Beautiful stroke. Again, I can't talk enough about the versatility of Dalton Connect. This time he's going to post up on the low block. He's going to get the man on his hip. And even though they're the same size, I mean, he just keeps the ball so high. Look at the high point on this ball. It's fully extended over his head. Very Kevin McHale-like. And just banks the baby in. And the foul. A little swag to him. Here's Dalton Connect. I'm sure it's got to be on the scouting, scouting report by now. When he gets downhill, he's going left and he's looking to finish left. And it's an, a great trait to have as a right-handed player because it throws off the defense. Just look at him get in there. Beautiful touch off the glass. He's got some juice to him, man. All right, now this play is specifically for Dalton Connect. 
they're gonna run a curl into a flare he's not gonna get it and he's gonna run a, into a curl all the way back on the other side of the floor now what's impressive about this is as soon as he catches the ball he's into his motion catch high keep high he's right into his motion beautiful balance beautiful follow through beautiful arc outstanding movement shooting right there all right here we go dalton connect handling the ball up top blown coverage by the defense just gets a little hesitation and beautiful right into the jump shot off the dribble again this is stuff that translates at the next level Here I just want to show the effect that Dalton has coming out of the half after he hit all those threes. Look at all the space in the middle of the floor because of how high his man has to get up and play this. Even with the pass going into the foul line, it's just wide open. So here we have Dalton connect, sees his guy driving to the middle of the floor, his head, the defender's head's turned, and he drives baseline. This is another trait that's gonna translate in the NBA, making these reads. But he goes up two hands strong, and he gets that crap sent back in his face. <laughs> Here we go, Dalton Connect again, handling the ball at the top of the key. Such versatility. This time, he's gonna give a little stutter step, go right. Finish with that strong right hand really, really, really high off the glass. So here's an example again of Dalton in the PNR up high, just not having enough burst and wiggle to his game. That's a very difficult shot. Needs to get a little bit more. Could have took another dribble maybe. But if he's a little bit quicker, he can beat that guy to the spot. Here we have Dalton Connect just putting a little fundamental footwork on you as he lulls the defender to sleep with the jab step, gives him a couple of jabs, and then just pulls back into that beautiful jump shot. That's big time. And that is it for me today, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below of Dalton Connect. 6'6", 215, movement shooter, slasher, long, long wingspan, really broad, square shoulders, sturdy body, senior from Tennessee. Again, I appreciate all the support. Uh, this channel, I keep saying it every week, is growing like crazy every video, and that's because it's true. We're already up to 187 subscribers, over 30,000 views. I mean, it's just growing like wildfire. I can't wait for the NBA draft to come around and to have conversations with all of you. We're going to attempt to do a live stream once a week. I've been talking about it for a while to discuss the current crop of NBA rookies, um, but it's still a work in progress. Again, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Don't forget to tell a friend about the channel by sharing it. It goes a long way to helping us grow. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon so that you are notified once we go live. All right, I will talk to you next time.